All new at six o'clock in this dangerous cold. It's very important to keep your pets safe too, and that means you may need to take some extra precautions, especially after going on a walk or being outside. Here are three tips from the ASPCA for cold weather. First, towel dry your pet as soon as possible after coming inside. Cut down on baths. Being washed too often can strip an animal's coat of essential oils, and that could lead to dry, flaky skin. And a rule of thumb about the temperature: if it's too cold for you, it's probably too cold for your pet. Yeah, good thing to keep in mind. Now to learn more about how to keep our pets safe in the cold, joining us is the Senior Medical Director for the ASPCA, Lori Beerbrier. Lori, thank you very much for joining us tonight. My pleasure. Glad to be here. So we say all the time, if it's too cold for us, it's too cold for them. But how long is too long when it comes to them being outside? Thank you for the question. And you're absolutely right. If it's too cold for us, it's too cold for them. And it's very variable depending on the size of your animal, the breed, uh, their fur coat. So very small dogs with very short hair will not be able to be outside for very long. Uh, and certainly some of the other breeds, uh, large breed dogs that have big furry coats can be out longer, but certainly err on the side of keeping them inside and just going outside to do their business and come on back in. It's interesting, too, because I have a dog at home myself and I can tell if she doesn't want to be outside. You know, you can almost yeah. she went out and she looked at me right away. I was like, no, no, no. Let me do my thing and get in the house right away. Yes, absolutely. They know they'll let you know pretty quickly. And a lot of dogs have a great time in the snow and it's wonderful to go out there and play. But just air on, you know, bringing them back in and making it a house day. What else other than the temperature can be a real danger for our pets? There's many things that can be an issue during the cold weather. Certainly the ice. There's also the uh, products that are used to prevent us from slipping and falling can be very irritating to the paws of dogs. And the other thing to think about is antifreeze. Uh, antifreeze we use in our cars. Uh, if any of that leaks out, it's actually quite sweet and very appealing to animals. And we need to be really careful to not let them lick things off the ground that could be dangerous to them. Yeah, you see animals out with little boots on and stuff like that so they don't pick things up <laughs> off the ground. Do, do those things, do sweaters and such, do, does that make a difference, do you think? I do think it helps a little bit. Not every animal is willing and tolerant of wearing a jacket or a sweater, or I will say they look awfully cute. Uh, and, it's, and the booties as well, some dogs will tolerate them. Uh, for animals that don't want to wear the booties, there are products you can get like Vaseline or products that you can put between their pads that will prevent the buildup of ice um, and any irritating chemicals that are on the ground from bothering them. Last and it's a good time. idea when you get back inside to wash off their feet. Yeah, for sure. I was going to say that's good advice too. Keep that towel close by the door for sure. Yes. Uh, lastly, what, what should people watch out for? Symptoms in your pet, you know, even once they're in the house, is there anything you should keep an eye out for if maybe they're not well or too cold or something's going on? So the first thing to look out for is shivering. And it's just like us when we go outside, when the first thing your body's going to do is start to shiver to stay warm and animals will do the same thing. When they come inside, if they are shivering, maybe try to wrap them up in a blanket, get them nice and cozy. Also, if they're acting differently, maybe acting more lethargic than usual, don't kind of seem with it. Um, it may be a situation they they could develop hypothermia and you definitely have any concerns with how they're behaving, uh, you know, check in with your veterinarian. Um, First step is always just make them nice and cozy. Yes, that's that's good advice right there. Stay inside, stay cozy all weekend long with them. Lori Beerbrier, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it tonight. It's my pleasure. Thank you.